What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. It's uh, Wednesday, December 4th, and I've just been out here uh, getting the van ready to go for a little trip. I've got to go down to Seattle. I'm working on a video project right now where I've got to go down to Seattle and shoot a bunch of time lapse and stuff. Uh, it's kind of a last minute trip, but uh, really relying on the van uh, on this particular trip. It's going to be kind of a traveling edit studio, photography studio, uh, video studio, all in one little shebang here. So um, I've got the van all prepared. Basically what we're going to go do is travel around to a few different job sites in downtown Seattle. Uh, I'm working uh, contracted out to a contractor that builds a lot of high-rise buildings down in Seattle. And I'm going down to film a lot of their job sites. So we're going to be doing time-lapse photography uh, throughout the night, getting some cool night shots and stuff like that. Uh, we're about two hours north of Seattle right now, and it's 32 degrees, and it's going to be cold. So we're relying on the heater, which we've got the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. We're going to be relying on that inside the van here. And I've got it set up with the uh, front seat turned around. I've got the desk set up here, so we'll have the uh, laptop set up here, hard drives, and all that will be plugged into the inverter, which is bolted right here to the back of my counter and plugged into my auxiliary battery. Auxiliary battery is down underneath there. So right now I've got a charging system set up right now. These are all my digital SLR batteries. I've got uh, a power strip plugged into the inverter and you can see everything's lit up like a Christmas tree down here. So that way on the road down to Seattle, uh, since it's kind of a last minute emergency trip, I can charge all my batteries on the road and uh, be good to go here. I've got all my GoPro equipment. It's all set up here. This is how I organize all my GoPro equipment. I've got all the different uh, all the different attachments and pieces that you need to, you know, put a GoPro pretty much wherever you want. Um, the bat body cases, um, all sorts of different stuff, so I keep that organized here. That's uh, nice for living the van life. Uh, I keep everything uh, organized there so I don't have GoPro parts flying all over the van. Got my tripod down here. We're shooting nighttime time-lapse photography. And so a steady tripod is definitely necessary for that. Inside the backpack I've got a laptop and hard drives and everything I need to do to be editing photos or editing video. On the front side I've got uh, GoPro cameras down here charging up. We're going to charge those on the road. Um, I picked myself up a remote control helicopter. It's one of the quadcopter styles um, that will carry the GoPro camera. And I got the version that's all stabilized, gyro stabilization and whatnot. Um, and I'll be able to get some aerial photography of the high rise. Uh, well, it'll actually be aerial videographer, videography uh, of the downtown buildings uh, with that particular helicopter. And so we'll be using the GoPros for that. I'm um, also up top here. Uh, many of you guys have seen I've got the rocket box. It's the Yakima version up here on top of my rack. Um, that is also loaded down with a whole bunch of, I'll show you what I got inside here, a bunch more gear. Um, I'm going to be working on job sites. So I've got my work boots and my hard hat uh, in here. I've also got various other. I've got my camera slider here, um, my off-camera lighting uh, equipment over here, and some more off-camera lighting equipment packed in here. So without this rocket box, I'd have all this stuff here loaded into my van. As you can tell right now, short of a few essentials, um, I've got everything, all the space that I need here to be able to hang out comfortably in the van. Um, it's important while I'm working to have a nice spot to be warm tonight. 
So we're going to travel around the city. We'll pull up to a job site. We'll have the van with the heater going. We'll have cameras uh, sitting outside capturing time lapse. Time lapse photography takes a lot of patience, a lot of time sitting there while the camera snaps photo after photo after photo. And then we take that and play it back uh, in a video program. And those still images become video at 24 pictures a second. So that's the plan. And for those of you out there wondering how I work out of my van, how I live out of my van, how I do it all at the same time, hopefully that gives you some insight of how I've got this thing set up to be able to have a traveling studio. And at the end of the night when I'm all done working at the wee hours of the morning, be able to jump in the back and crash. Um, I expect that the temperatures will probably get down into the mid-20s, uh, which will be pretty chilly. Um, so I'm going to rely on my down sleeping bag and sweatpants and a stocking cap for all that. And my trusty beard to keep me warm through all that. So anyways, uh, that's that. Hopefully we'll be doing some videos. Uh, and I, I guess when I say we, uh, my buddy Brad is also a photographer. Uh, he's going to be my assistant tonight and he's going to be shooting uh, time lapse right alongside with me uh, doing that. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get out of here, hit the road and head south to Seattle. Hopefully we'll get the opportunity to put a couple more videos up. Everybody peace out. Keep on trucking.